It's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. So you know I'm thinking, see so analyzing that data. But like I tell y'all every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative. The markets, we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, <laughs> First Citizens Bank has allegedly bought Silicon Valley Bank. They're going to take over all their deposits. They're going to take over all their loans. And the FDIC allegedly is going to receive $500 million in equity in First Citizen Bank. So technically, First Citizen Bank has acquired Silicon Valley Bank for $500 million. But it is the other part of this deal that that makes it a win-win for Citizen Bank. If there are any future losses, they kind of have an unlimited line of credit with the FDIC. I mean, who wouldn't want a deal like that? A deal with no downside. And that is the problem with our stock market. That is the problem with our banking industry. That these I don't want to say bad actors, but these these guys, these ladies, these people in charge, these people at the top of the food chain, they can do whatever they want with no consequences. So they allegedly are giving $500 million to the FDIC to acquire Silicon Valley Bank. They take over all the deposit. They take over the loans. They take over everything that has to do with Silicon Valley Bank. Are they taking over the debt? Probably not. Somehow it'll be a race. But the fact that if it goes sideways for them, if it starts going down, they can just call Uncle Sam and Uncle Sam will replenish the bank for them. Will give them additional funds. And that is the problem. If they want to buy Silicon Valley Bank, then they should buy Silicon Valley Bank. But they shouldn't have an insurance policy from the taxpayers because that's who's going to be paying for it. That if it goes bad, they won't lose any money. They won't lose any money if this investment goes bad. I wish I could invest in companies and if it goes bad, I could call the government to give me back my losses. I mean, it's absolutely crazy what they're allowed to do. It's and that is why... They will never, ever do the right thing. That's why they will never, ever follow the law. Because there's never any consequences for their bad decisions. There's never any consequences for their bad actions. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's fair that First Citizen Bank gets to buy out Silicon Valley Bank, but if it goes south, they can just call Uncle Sam for additional money? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.